why are we here? Well, I just got done finishing my uh, my bug out bag video number four or five on uh, shelter and warmth. And I talked briefly about how I wanted to upgrade the old bivy sack that I've got. I'll drag it out here for you guys in a second. I'm probably gonna fix this up so it's a little bit more presentable. I literally just threw it up for the last video. But I wanna upgrade from, from my Gore-Tex, my heavy Gore-Tex bivy sack to this, uh, this bivy survival sleeping bag by Pathfinder. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing it and uh, hopefully it'll still fit back in the pack. Uh, as usual, if you haven't done it yet, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button because you'll be notified when I drop more videos and you can say, hey, I watched that video. And uh, yeah, it, it helps out the channel. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I've got this very, very rudimentary makeshift shelter up. It's strictly for this video. It's more of an ambiance thing than anything else. And I want to replace my bivy sack, my Gore-Tex bivy sack, with this Pathfinder bivy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleep in this tonight and I'm gonna let you know what happens. So here's what it's gonna look like. So we've gotten rid of the Gore-Tex and now we're gonna open this puppy up. And I mean, it, it, uh, it, it's bag does not look permanent. I may find something better to do or find something uh, stronger than it, but we're gonna open this puppy up. I really like the idea that it's super light and super compact. And it's as long, if not longer, than a standard sleeping bag. Most sleeping bags are only about 72 to 76 inches long. This is 81 inches long. Let me check that. 81 inches long by 30. It's kind of wide. So this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to throw it down over here. Kind of like, I like the hood. It does have a drawstring in it. Um, we may have to replace that with something more permanent, uh, which is not a big deal. That's just 550 cord, guys. That's nothing. So we're definitely, I think we're probably going to try and replace that drawstring. But we'll see what happens. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to throw it in here. And what the hell? Let's try it out for size. I do like the fact, let me move the camera real quick. I do like the fact that is a, it's a right zip, because I'm a, well, technically I'm a left sleeper, but uh, I can sleep on my side on the right. It's not a big deal. Um, it's, uh, it's got the, uh, it's actually kind of a thick, a thicker than usual uh, reflective surface inside of it. And what I'll probably do is put my Wooby inside of it. But I guess for right now, let's, let's find out. Let's see what it feels like before we decide to sleep in it tonight. We'll jump in this puppy. See what it's all about. Wow, it's deep. Wow. All right. Okay. Probably gonna get something to put underneath my head. Hmm. Let's try out this drawstring. Doesn't feel like there's one in. Yeah, there is. There's one in here. Look at this whole thing's gonna close up. Nice. See what we can get out of this. Is it one on both sides? There is not, so it's definitely one on each side. Oh, there we go. Okay. So if it gets cold tonight, I can close this puppy up. Oh, yeah. I'd say it's probably as wide as any other sleeping bag. Um, it's, my feet are not touching the bottom which is great. I'm 5'9", and my feet are not touching the bottom. All right. I think that's going to do it. <laughs> so, I actually started sweating inside of that thing. That is definitely gonna keep me warm, no question about it. I'll still have my Wooby tonight, but um, yeah. I've still got four hours before uh, the sun goes down. So I think what I'll do is I'll just double check the tent or the, the tarp and uh, just kind of be ready for tonight. And then we'll come out tonight and uh, get this, uh, get everything where it needs to be. And then we'll spend the night in this puppy. 
All right. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys. As you can see, I am back. And it's time for bed. It's uh, significantly darker now. The temperature is uh, right around 60 degrees. And uh, it's expected to get down into the mid to low 50s tonight. So we should be seeing what this little bag can do. It's going to be interesting. <coughs> I do have my whoopee with me in case it does get cold. And uh, put these over here. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go to bed. Oh. this sweatshirt on for right now we'll see what happens I don't know that I need to <coughs> we'll zip it all the way up but what the hell oh, I do feel comfortable oh, I'm gonna take that off and get this will be in place for a nice little pillow that's not bad at all all right I'll catch you guys in the morning Donuts. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this this bivy sack. Overall, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Hopefully, I'm not too close to the camera there. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. Kept me warm all night long. I was very surprised. Uh, I didn't really sweat in it. Uh, the temperature did drop. We got a little bit of wind. There was a little bit of moisture in the air. But overall, it did its job. The, uh, the Wolby may have actually been overkill for last night. I never got cold enough to use it. But I remember thinking that if I threw this Wolby in here, it may be too much. If anything, maybe I'll look at a uh, another, <clears throat> like an insulative layer. You can buy these liners for your sleeping bags that uh, uh, add 10 degrees to the bag. So that might be the magic button. I'm not exactly sure yet. It's still kind of testing it out. But as far as the bag goes, dude, it's, this is an awesome little bag. I mean, I just keep, I'm going to keep using it until I can't use it anymore. I mean, it's, there's nothing to it. It works, and uh, it's waterproof. It's windproof. Um, yeah, I have zero complaints. This is my new, this is my new summer weight bag. So, hopefully, you guys got something out of that. I'm not quite awake yet, but um, yeah, I'll leave a link down there for the bag and any other gear that I have in this video, just in case you're curious. And. Uh, Man, I'm not awake. Do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that uh, that like button. And, uh, yeah, you'll be able to say, hey, I got why watch that video. Because it does help the channel. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, everything uh, put away. And uh, stay safe. Have a great day. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. I'm not awake. <laughs> I may have to put a, I may have to put a, ah, man, I may have to put a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this thing's so, so light that, uh, I'm gonna freaking uh, swap out that bivy sack for a, uh, an air mattress, because 
sleeping on this ground. It was not as soft as I thought it would be. Uh, and uh, it's definitely, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yoo-hoo! Good morning.